Hi guys, today I'll be sharing with you 10 fame terminologies that we use on set that every actor must know. Alright, there are about many of them. I mean, there are many words that we use that so many upcoming artists and actors don't really know what it means. So I'm, I'll, I'll share some of them. But before I continue, please make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I share important videos, important content when it comes to filmmaking, creativity, and all what not you need to know. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button because I drop video every other week. Alright, let's get on to it. Okay, the very first one is standing by. Now the moment you hear the word standing by, whether it's from coming from the AD or it's coming from the director or whoever that is going to say that, once you hear standing by, what it means is that we're about to film, we're about to roll, and you should shut your mouth. I was going to say shut the trap, but see the same thing. So shut your mouth up if you're talking, drop your phone if you're messing around, stop working. We are about to shoot for crying out loud. I don't like it when we say standing by and people are still moving around the set, so that shows you're not professional. Okay. Okay, the second one is quite simple. When you hear the director say action, what it means is now we're about to start. It pains me when I see some actors, you know, you say action. That is when they know they will be stopping their phone calls or they say action, they want to finish something on social media. I mean, you know, come on, that is one of the terrible things that most actors do. You can't be on social media when you have when you've already heard standing by. Standing by means stop every other thing you're doing, we're about to roll. And then you hear action, that's when you want to say the last thing on social media, that's when you want to say hi to somebody, that's when you want to finish up something, that's when you want to adjust your clothes. No. If you're not ready when you say standing by, let the director know that you are not on standby because something is stopping you from standing by, not when you when you hear action and then you want to stand by. Next call went, which is the third one, is quiet on set. Whenever you hear that quiet on set, it means somebody somewhere is talking when he's not supposed to talk. So whenever you hear quiet on set, sees movement, sees every action, we are about to shoot. So pay attention, not when you hear quiet on set and then you start scratching your leg. Oh, come on. That, that can piss every director off. I mean, even the camera's director. So when you hear Quiet on set, it means we're about to shoot, so you have to keep quiet. It's not the time to start, it's not the time to lower your voice and some, you know, mumbling with another person like, so I wonder what's going on here, you know, you know, like what is going on set. No, it is quiet on set. Stop it, freeze if you can, until that thing is over. The next one is when you hear the word rolling it. Roll it. It simply means the tape is already rolling, the camera is already rolling, and it means we are about to film. All of that happened before the director will say action. So when you hear rolling, it means the tape is rolling, probably the sound is also rolling. So both of them, once it's already rolling, you got to sit your butt down because no producer would like to have somebody around, you know, distracting the director when he's already about to take a sh And then of course you know that actors are, you know, in their mood, about to start, and then you're distracting them, the director has to say call because somebody from the set is making noise. It happens a lot. It happens a lot in Africa here, in Hollywood to be precise. It happens a lot because so many people are uninformed. They've heard standby, they didn't stop, they heard quiet on set, they didn't stop, they heard rolling, they didn't stop, and they hear action, they are not still stopping. That is wrong. Another key word that you must pay attention to as an upcoming actor when you're on set is when you hear pick up. Now, pick up simply means um, maybe you are on an, on an action, you have done something and the director probably is not so comfortable or there's an in, you know, a distraction and you have to cut the shot and then you need to now pick up from where you have stopped. So when you hear pick up, it simply means you are picking up from the very last action that you did before the director said cut. And when you hear something like T.O.P. or top, it simply means you are going to start the whole thing all over again. So when you hear pick up, it's tr trying to tell you start from the last action so if you if the last action you did was you said hey you get out of here and you did like this when the director said cut and say okay we're going to pick up from your last action and says action what you expected to do is to start from hey you get out of here and then continue your act it's not for you to start from all over all right it's only when he says from top or from top that is from top that's when you start from the very beginning i hope that's clear okay the next one is when you hear cut now there's another mistake that some actors make once they walk out of frame they want to relax they want to get out of the camera character in their mind they're out of the frame but never stop acting until the director says cut because you don't know whether he has discussed with the dp to follow you up or something and there's you know in between your act something else has gone wrong something else has gone between the director of photography and the director and they want to continue the shot so don't you know go out of character 
until you hear cut. All right. So cut is like a signal the director uses to say, okay, I'm done at this moment for this particular shot or stop this shot. There's something I want to change. When anytime you hear cut, it means stop. All right. So, and don't stop acting. The moment you hear that word action, start acting and never stop acting until you hear cut. Okay. Number seven is cheat to cheat all right so when you hear cheat it's not like we're gonna cheat you right now okay <laughs> all right we're not cheating you right but what it simply means is that when you hear cheat on set is a time that the director or the dp wants to use probably when he wants to you know a bit tweak of tweak the angle probably you stood at this point in your in your first shot and then probably something is is not right and he wants you to maybe slightly move a bit from the original position where you were standing before so anytime he says please cheat to your right it simply means move a bit to your right or say cheat to your left which simply means move a bit to your left or cheat move front a bit simply means cheat forward that means you're coming forward cheat back you're going back cheating simply means a little bit a little bit bit of tweaking for instance you probably they have they took a master shot and you're very close to the wall and so the dp does not know where to stay to take your you know your your medium shot or your mass or your cu so what he or she does is to ask you to probably cheat a bit so that I can create a little bit of space where the angle will come from. So there are different reasons why directors take different take different shots. So if it requires you to cheat, what it simply means is shift. So rather than say shift on set, you will be hearing something like cheat, cheat to your right, cheat to your left, something like that. Oh, we're not cheating, but that's cheating. Okay. All right. So moving on. The next one simply is dirty in the shot. So when you hear that a shot, you know, let's take a dirty shot. This is going to be a dirty CU or dirty CM or dirty medium shot or whatever it simply means. It simply means there's a physical intrusion on your shot. For instance, they want to take your, you know, CU, your, your CU rather than having a clean shot. They're having, they're using maybe a bit of somebody's body patch or object patch, you know, just to, you know, create some li let, little bit of, of intrusion so you're not clean it's not only your face that are seen on the screen at that moment when they're taking your see you there's a bit of inclusion there's a bit of maybe somebody else's body small attachment of the body to the shot a director may have different reasons for using it most times they use it when the, the actor you know the character is not so much of a straight character or probably what he or she is saying is something that is, is crooked is not right or is wrong something like that it, mostly for valiance you know and like i said the director may use it for different purposes but most times dirty in the shot simply means bringing a certain object so they could say okay we're taking your CU but it's going to be a dirty shot so the other character needs to move in a bit so let's let's have a patch of the character's body you know as against your face so the patch is just there a little part of the frame and then your your face or a bit of the person's you know more like an OS but it's not completely an OS it's more like you know a patch of the person's body you know against your face so what that simply means is that there's a physical intrusion you know uh, before your face that is what they mean by dating the shot so anytime you hear the director say okay we're going to have a dirty shot it's a dirty see you it's not saying that your face is dirty you know don't get embarrassed it's not going to be that that's not what it means it simply means there's a physical intrusion all right i hope that helps too okay the ninth one is call time all right what is exactly call time call time for those of you who are still coming into the industry you know fresh like i said for upcoming actors Sometimes you may not get to get a call time till maybe the night before the day of your shoot, and that means you probably will check be checking out checking your text messages, your phone calls, or, or your email email addresses that you have submitted to the production because they are going to send you time to show up. What it simply means is that there is a call time before the shooting time, which means if um, a shoot is going to start by let's say by by 8 a.m. they might tell you to come on set 7 o'clock 7 a.m. or 7 30 or thereabouts so what it simply means is the time of arrival so call time is more of the time of arrival so whenever you hear call time all right um, it's not the time they're going to call you no it's the time that you're supposed to arrive on the set the last but not the least is rap okay so we go ahead director when they say it's a rap what it simply means is that I am satisfied I'm done on this scene or this set Whichever way, it's simply a wrap. So whenever you hear it's a wrap, it means we have come to the end of the scene or we have come to the end of the shoot entirely. So whenever you hear this is a wrap for this scene, let's move on to the next one. It simply means I am satisfied in this scene, let's move on to the next one. It's always the director who says that because of course the director knows when he's satisfied. All right, so but then when the film is entirely shot and we're done with it, we should say it's a wrap for the set. So whenever you hear it's a wrap for the set, it simply means we're not coming to wrap, we're coming to say we're done with this set, maybe onto the next one. There you have it. 
10 most important words that you as an actor, upcoming actor or so must know on set. They're actually called terminologies, yeah? Terms, film set, film terms, whatever you want to call it. But those are some of the terms I will use on set and sometimes it could be confusing for those who are just coming on set for the first time, especially if you don't have training and you don't understand much about filmmaking, you might get confused, a little bit confused. I hope this will be able to help. Please, if you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and then leave a comment on the comment section below so that I'll get to know what I'll make next. If you want something, if you want me to talk about anything in particular when it comes to creativity, how to make money with your talent and of course filmmaking generally, be rest assured that I'm going to do that. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you know when I drop my next video because I do that every other week. Alright, stay blessed and make sure you continue to create.